Welcome to the MindView 4 Quick Start video. This video is developed to teach you the basic functionality of MindView so that you can get started using the software right away. One of the benefits of MindView is that you can develop and design in six interchangeable views. MindView also comes preloaded with dozens of helpful templates that you can choose from, separate into subject matter, under business, education, personal, and you can even customize your own personal folder structure when developing MindView template files. To get started in MindView, if you'd like to create a new document, select the view you'd like to design in and choose Open. MindView's interface is similar to that of Microsoft Office. Using a ribbon system at the top, separate into tabs which contain the individual features for that specific tab. To get started using MindView, simply left click the root and give your project a name. For this example, we're going to mind map an agenda. Once the root has been named, you want to start creating some branches. There's several ways to create branches in MindView. You could choose the root, go to the Home tab, and choose the branch icon to create your first main branch. Left clicking the icon again will continue to create branches around the root. If you'd like to create sub branches, Simply choose your desired branch, choose the sub-branch icon, and it will take it out one level. By selecting the main branch icon again, I will duplicate branches at that same branch level. If I'd like to bring it out a level, I choose sub-branch, and then main branch will duplicate. I can also choose to right-click a branch, choose insert, branch or sub-branch, or I can even hit enter or insert on my keyboard easily rearrange branches by using a drag and drop left click drag and drop your branch in the new location or you could even choose to copy more than one branch if it's going to be repetitive information choose copy or control C go to your desired branch location and choose paste or control V to delete branches from your mind map simply choose the desired branch Hit delete on your keyboard or highlight multiple branches at one time and hit delete. For the remainder of this presentation, I'm going to be using enter and insert on my keyboard to make my branches. I'm going to left click agenda and hit enter one time to create my first main branch. I will name that branch introduction. Hitting enter one more time will deselect that branch. Hitting enter again will create another main branch. This one will be called Topic 1. Enter again to deselect. Enter one more time to create another main branch. This will be Topic 2. And the final branch will be called Closing Remarks. Now to take this tutorial further, we will create some sub-branches and we'll start with the Introduction branch. This time I will hit Insert on my keyboard to create my first sub-branch purpose and goals for the meeting. Hitting enter one time will deselect. Hitting enter again will create another branch at that same level. We'll name this updates. I'll move down to topic one. To create my first sub branch on the topic one level, I'll hit insert. This will be called overview. Enter to deselect. Enter again to create a new branch at that same level. Financial, discussion, and planning. Now we want to discuss the same subtopics for topic two. So in this case, I will highlight all of the subbranches. I'll choose copy or control C, move to the topic two location, and hit paste or control V. As you can see, I've duplicated the same branch structure. Now on closing remarks, we'll create one more sub-branch. I'll hit insert. This will be called minutes. Enter to deselect. Enter again to create another branch. And we'll choose next meeting. So I've created the main branch structure of this particular MindView file for creating an agenda. Introduction, Topic 1, Topic 2, and Closing Remarks. Once you've created your branch structure, you're going to want to drill down deeper on the individual topics. Now I'm going to zoom in on my mind map a bit. 
I'm going to select the purpose and goals for the meeting, and we're going to create what's called a text note. The text note is perfect for including detailed information per branch. So if we wanted to specify what the purpose and goals for the meeting are, I will go ahead and choose to create a simple list. The text note editor functions and behaves exactly like Microsoft Word, with the same formatting options, tables, pictures, hyperlinks. You can even copy and paste completed text into the text note editor. I will choose to create a bullet point called outlining strategy for the next year. Once I've typed my text information, I would then close the text note editor, and to the right side of the selected branch, you will now see a paperclip icon. By hovering the paperclip icon, it lets me know that an object has been attached to that branch, and I can left click to show that text note. If you'd like to create a secondary text note per branch, I could either choose to create a new branch topic from the icon down below, or if I have already closed the text note editor, I can simply relaunch the text note editor, and I get a fresh text note to type in. In this case, I'll add an additional bullet point to create a business plan for topics one and two. Once I've completed my second text note, I again can close down the text note editor, and by hovering the paperclip icon this time, you see we have two text notes attached to the purpose and goals for the meeting branch. As you notice, my mind map has shifted over to the left of the screen, and I can fix that by choosing Fit All or F4 on my keyboard. Now that we've successfully brainstormed and organized our branches or topics, let's add some images. It is proven that visual imagery helps in recall and retention. It also helps to clearly define relationships in a mind map and allow audiences to understand concepts in a more efficient manner. By launching the multimedia catalog on the right side of the screen, you can see that MindView comes packed with over 2,000 multimedia images separated into subject matter and category. By expanding one of the categories, I can select a specific folder and see the images listed in that particular location. If I'd like to use one of these images, I can left click, drag, and drop this image directly onto my desired branch and create my first branch picture. If I decide that I'd like to insert my own custom image, I can simply choose my desired branch, choose the branch picture icon, browse on my computer for the image that I'd like to include, and choose Open. MindView will drop the image directly in the branch that I had selected. As you can see, it's simple to insert images to your mind map. MindView also allows you to attach any type of multimedia resource, like a Word document, a PDF, a video, and a PowerPoint presentation to any branch that you determine. In this case, for Topic 1, under Financial, let's choose to attach an Excel spreadsheet used as a budget file. Well, I choose my desired branch, Financial. I choose the attachment icon. I browse on my computer for the object that I'd like to attach, in this case, the Excel spreadsheet for the budget plan, and I choose Open. MindView gives me the ability to hover the paperclip icon and left-click to launch that Excel document. As you can see, having the ability to launch programs like Word, PowerPoint, or Excel directly from the mind map further enhances the power of MindView. Now that you've seen how to attach multimedia content to the branches, let's take a look at customizing the look and feel of the mind map. By selecting the Design tab from the top ribbon, you can see that we have several different layouts or ways that we can display this information. By hovering the different layout options, you can see that you get a live preview. We have our left to right view. We have our right to left view. We have our organizational chart. And we also have our top-down view. Combining the different layouts with different map styles gives you the flexibility to customize the look and feel of your design. There are several styles that you can choose from. And again, by hovering over the different styles, you'll see a live update down below showing you exactly what your mind map would look like before you make your selection. If you'd like to change the color scheme of the mind map, you do that under the Color Scheme tab. By selecting Color Scheme, I can choose to change the branch colors. And again, as I hover over the different colors, I see a live update down below. Now, if I'd like to change the root shape, I can also choose to change the root shape by affecting the round shapes, circles, file folders, even clouds. 
Now, if I'd like to determine and change an individual branch as opposed to changing them all at once, as I select a branch, the Format tab becomes Option at the top. The Format tab is branch specific. This allows me to change things like the font style or size. I can also choose to change the color scheme of that selected branch by choosing Color Scheme. In this case, I will make the first branch blue. I'll make the second branch green. I'll make the third branch purple. And the fourth branch will go ahead and make light blue. Using color schemes and color coordination allows you to further enhance the design and also show distinct relationships and differences between branches. One of the many advantages of MindView is that if I do add some customization to the color or branch shapes, I can choose to swap back to a different layout and maintain that look and feel that I've designed. Now that we've taken a look at customizing your mind map, adding images, adding multimedia content, and swapping between the views and styles, let's take a look at exporting this mind map to one of our professional export formats. MindView is fully integrated with Microsoft Office as well as several different types of export formats. As you can see, we can export to Microsoft Word, Microsoft PowerPoint, Excel, Outlook, Project, even build an HTML website from your mind map. Before we export this file out, I'd like to go into the Home tab and turn on the numbering scheme. The numbering scheme will help me to reiterate what we call the radial hierarchy. As you can see, starting at 1 o'clock, each individual branch now has a number associated. This number directly relates to the way that we export out to Microsoft Office. Whereas each branch will get its own chapter in a Word document, slide on a slideshow, page on a website, and so on. Whatever is attached to the branch, a picture, a text note, an Excel spreadsheet, will be also shown in that respective section of the export format. To demonstrate this, let's export this file out to Microsoft Word. I will choose Export. I will choose Microsoft Word and choose the Advanced Export option. Here I can choose between several of the predefined layout styles that we've created for you, or you can import a style from Word. Once you've chosen your template style, I choose General and determine what I'd like included in the mind map export, an image of the mind map, table of contents, and any of the relative media content that we included. In this case, I'll choose Export. I'll go ahead and save this as the agenda, and I'll hit Save. MindView has now created my mind map into a formatted Word document with an image of the mind map included, a table of contents based on that radial hierarchy, and as I scroll down my Word document, we start going into my individual sections. My introduction with the image, the different sections with the text note information that we included, the link to the Excel spreadsheet, and as you can see, each individual branch has its own section or category in Word. Now it's important to point out that every export is also an import. So if I choose to enter some additional content into my Word file, I can choose to save this Word document, and from within MindView, I can then choose to import that document, and it will rebuild the mind map based on any of the changes I made in the Word document. That also holds true with any of the exports to PowerPoint, to Microsoft Excel, and so on. Now that you've seen how to export a mind map to Microsoft Word, let's look at the export to PowerPoint. In this case, we'll go around the clock, each branch getting its own slide in Microsoft PowerPoint. I choose the MindView icon, I choose Export, and this time I'll choose Microsoft PowerPoint. Choosing the Advanced PowerPoint Export, I choose a template style that I'd like to use or import one from PowerPoint. I go under the General tab, I choose to either include or not include an image of the mind map, text notes, information, and so on. I'll hit Export. As you can see, we've exported out to PowerPoint with our overview slide. If we take a look at our first agenda slide, we see the four main branches. Introduction, Topic 1, Topic 2, and Closing Remarks. As I move further down the slide order, I have my slide for introduction, I have my bullet point lists, 
and any linked files or information that I included in MindView remain active in the PowerPoint export. As stated previously, if I'd like to add bullet point information, change slide names, add or delete slides, I'm free to do that in PowerPoint. I can save that file and I have the option to then import back into MindView from PowerPoint updating the information on my mind map. This concludes our quick start tutorial. If you'd like to see more of the advanced functionality, including the business edition features, project management features, and calculation module, be sure to check out MindView Business Edition at matchword.com.